Hello and welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today I like to show you how to duplicate easily a 3D printed part. Today I like to show you how to really easy duplicate 3D printed parts or to make a copy of a replacement part like I did here. How I did that? I will show you during the next minutes. Have fun watching the video. A very simple way to copy complex parts, but of course flat parts, is to use a copy machine. You will open the scanner part, put it on top, choose scan, Another possibility is to use a camera, like a mobile phone or a real camera. Uh, put your object on a white paper and make sure that you have your camera in 90 degrees and your lens should be somewhere in the middle of the object uh, to have a most possible clean photo of this object. Uh, make also sure that you don't have a lot of shadows. So first we need Inkscape. That's a free vector graphic program. And uh, I will give you the link down in the description of the video in the caption. Yeah, the next one after installing this uh, software is to import our JPEG, PNG or whatever you have as a photo of your printed part or your part. I choose the option smoothing. Sorry, software is in German here because my computer is in German. I try to explain as good as possible the functions uh, if they are written in German that you can uh, check out how they are named in your language. Um, as next, as soon the part is imported, we need to scale it on a paper size. For that, um, uh, we push the control key on the keyboard and scale the picture down to the size that it will fit to the paper you see here on the screen. As next, we will choose the Bezier Corving tool and I will paint now the inner lines of my objects. You see, I choose at the moment only straight lines on the inner wall of this object. And the reason why this tool is named Corving Tool is, I can show you, because you can build corvers out of the lines you have already drawn. I will do that now for all corners as much as possible exact like I wish to have it depending how exact you like to have it is more time it need. Uh, in this case you see here I need one more dot to sharpen the corf a little bit like I want to have it. That's, that can be easily done with a double click on the line and you get a new point where you can uh, stretch and bend your your corf to the right dimension. And now I make that a little bit faster. I think it's clear how, so far how it works. Yeah, first I do the inner wall and as next I make the same one for the outer wall and you see how it works. Overall it goes very quickly and it's easy to arrange. Like I already said, it's depending how much exactly you like to copy that part. If the dimensions need to be perfect, you maybe need a little bit more time. Yeah, a little bit more correction here and the part is done. I will save that file and go to the next point. So 
I will insert a new layer. For me, it's layer three. And I will copy the inner part of the object, so the inner wall, to layer three. So I move it to layer three. Done. And I select now the outer layer and choose background black because my background of layer tree, the inner part, is white. You automatically have the shape you like to want. Very nice. So now we save that file as a SVG. We import that file to Tinkercut. And the next step we need to do is to give it to correct sizes. The sizes we already have, we measured in the beginning the correct dimensions. And I type here now in the dimensions I have measured. So that's our part. Beautiful. X, Y and Z. Like it should be. Good. That part I will now export as a STL file and import the STL into Cura. I think on that point it's clear what to do. We will print that part. And here is it already. That's my printed part. I copied by a photo. Yeah, it looks not too bad. It's not perfectly printed, I think. We will check it out if I take it from the heat bed. Yeah, we see here the first layer is not absolutely perfect. The reason why is um, that's the first time I printed that filament and I didn't correct any settings. And I also made no test prints to have a better printout. Uh, but yeah, for the reason I need this part, the quality is absolutely okay. And you see on the left side, this is the copy. And on the right side, we see the original part. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for giving me some comments. If you like to see me again, please click the subscribe button and the bell to don't miss any new video. So far, thank you very much. Happy printing. Bye.